Hello and welcome back to Mrs. O'Connor's at home classroom. So this week we read pages 245 to 265 in the glass castle and we see Jeanette finally escape West Virginia and enter New York City. But she doesn't enter confidently. She enters with insecurity. She's wondering um, if she will seem to hick West Virginia but she ends up overcoming this fear through an affirmation from her father. You know, he always believed in her inner beauty, and therefore she was able to believe in her inner beauty as well, which adds to this kind of complicated character development we see of Rex Walls, and especially the relationship between Rex Walls and Jeanette. So Jeanette finds a special high school that allows her to intern almost as her education, and she finds a news outlet called The Phoenix. And she works with The Phoenix, and it's pretty low rung. We see checks bouncing. We see reporters quitting, but this is her in. This is Jeanette's in. And soon after she began there as an intern, she was hired on as a reporter, a paid reporter. And um, she debates whether or not it's worth it to go to college at this point because she already found a job and she's already getting paid. But her boss takes her aside and he tells her, you need to go to college and I'll take you back, but you won't be coming back here. Sure enough, she gets accepted to an Ivy League college in New York and uh, she ends up working with top name newsrooms and doesn't go back to the Phoenix. Um, and so they call Brian. Brian is their younger brother and Brian comes to join them in New York and they have a family unit, um, a healthier family unit developing. They have weekly dinners together and um, the parents, they, they end up um, inviting Maureen to join them and then eventually the parents come to New York City as well. And so they end up kind of staying with the children um, but it's not going very well and so the parents ultimately end up homeless. And it's their choice. They have other options. They have other places to go. They have a house in Arizona. But instead, they choose to be homeless in New York City with the brutal winters and, you know, the dangers and discomforts of homeless living. Which is an interesting and complicated discussion. The idea of homelessness, the stigmas that come with being homeless and our preconceived notions of how a homeless person got there. Um, so this week for our assignment, I would like us to explore poverty profiles. And so you're going to select one of the poverty profiles from the website listed, and you are going to do some kind of analysis and research on your own of the circumstances that bring us to where we find each other. Um, another notable development in this section of the reading is we see Jeanette shine and we see her brilliance and her resolve take her to her dreams, right? She achieves her dream. She's a reporter and a college graduate in New York City. So Lori and Jeanette form their own family unit. Um, Lori is working as a waitress and Jeanette uh, is completing her high school education through an internship at the Phoenix, a newspaper. This is a great opportunity for her to report and, you know, get some experience in writing, which is ultimately her dream and her career aspiration. They end up sending for Brian to come join them, and Brian doesn't hesitate a second before he makes his way over, and they later send for Maureen. So all four Wall's children are living in New York City together, and Jeanette is working her tail off. She works 90-hour weeks, and she ends up having a conversation with her boss because she doesn't feel the need to go to college. She's already working as a paid reporter with the Phoenix, but her boss says, you know, you need to go to college, and... While I'll give you your job back here if you want it when you're done, you won't be coming back here because he knows and understands uh, the potential that Jeanette Walls has. And sure enough, Jeanette Walls heads to an Ivy League college, does extremely well, and is in big name newsrooms before she knows it. Um, the complication here is when the Walls' parents make an appearance. So 
Mr. and Mrs. Walls find their way to New York City as well. And they're bounced around between the children. Um, we see them kind of regress into their addictions and problematic behaviors we've seen throughout the novel. And finally, none of the children can host the, the family and the parents any longer. So this is an interesting perspective that Jeanette Walls gives us on homelessness on the idea of someone choosing to be homeless. The Walls family has a home in Arizona. They have options, but they are choosing to live on the streets in New York City. And we all have stigmas and preconceived notions on homeless people and how they came to be homeless. We, at one point in the text, Jeanette Walls enters into an interesting debate with a professor. A professor accuses her of speaking without experience and speaking from a, a place of privilege when Jeanette does have these crazy traumatic life experiences and understanding a very close personal understanding of homelessness but she chooses not to defend herself to her professor she chooses to just take the hit why why do we think that Jeanette Walls doesn't stand up for herself and why do we have this preconceived notion and stigma of homelessness? So we're going to kind of explore those two questions as we um, work this week. And as always, let me know if you have any comments, questions, and or concerns.